Hi guys, I asked a question today on my page, The Three Pointed Circle on Facebook, what you'd like to see me do um, in terms of like a Q&A sort of thing. Uh, so if, if you've got any questions or anything you want to put down in the comments, I'll try and do a little video tutorial kind of thing to answer it if I can, as long as it's not, not metallic metal. <laughs> it's, I can't do that. Anyway, um, I got asked by... Martin and Darren and someone's name on Instagram we'll forget apologies um, to paint some battle damage and I got asked to do it on red because I said I'd found it a difficult colour to weather so I'm going to give it a go see what happens but basically I'm going to go through a red one and a black one to show how I can do how I highlight the black stuff and we'll take it from there um, so I'm going to start off by spraying some a fist and red from Citadel Air. Okay, so let's just spray this on there. Um, allow that to dry uh, and we'll look at what we can highlight it with. Okay, so I'm going to go in there with some highlights of Evil Sun Scarlet. Again with the airbrush um, and then we'll go, we'll go in with some edge highlights. That's brilliant, let that dry. Okay, for the black. I'm using Nagraf Knight, Abaddon Black and Odasha White. And I'm going to just go around the edge with the airbrush on here. all I need to do that so we're going to go in with some edge highlights now okay so there we go we've got everything done there so now let's look at some edge highlights on the red I'm going to use wild rider red for the edge again this is a uh, citadel colours I paint all this along the edges. My edge highlighting isn't the best, so I think that's why I go into my weathering a lot to make up for it. Hides a multitude of sins for me. Um, I think when it comes to painting miniatures it's always best to play to your own strengths so if you know you're not great at edge highlighting like I do think about what else you can do to bring your miniatures to life and of course when, when you've got the time experiment see if you can improve on your weak spots Okay, 
Okay, so that will do there. On the black, for the first inch highlight, I'm going to use the, the fang. I think it's a great colour for highlighting black with. Okay, get these on there on the edge. Use the edge of your brush to uh, apply it. Help you get that nice straight line. straightish line in my case okay now I'm going to look at the first part of weathering so Put that to one side for the moment. On here, we're going to use Rhinox Hide. And I've got some blister foam. And I just dab that in there. Tap it on some paper so I can get a nice pattern. And then just dab it on. This will bring out my first layer of chipping. You can put it across to get some scrapes in there. Doesn't massively stand out yet, but when you start adding adding the final edge highlight around it, all it does help it pop out. I'm going to do the same with the black, which against the grey area that I sprayed on should pick it up. But weathering, weathering black and brown for me are not strong and easy colours to do. Weather some white up and all the blues and it really does stick out. Okay, so I've got our edges weathered there. Let's look at sticking in some more edge, uh, edge highlights. So on the on the red, I'm going to have a mix of the Wild Rider red and some Screaming Skull. Kind of comes out in a salmony kind of colour. Like a one to one mix, I would say. Okay, and now we come in there with the brush and uh, with more precision this time than there was with the previous edge highlight, I just draw around where we've put these little chips in. Doesn't have to be a doesn't have to be super neat. Just drag it around. Put a dot beneath all those uh, little chips that you've put in. all the way around. I'm just doing this at speed at the moment. You can spend ages on it, get really lost in the detail of it all. Drag the brush across like that to get some scratches on. That's that's it, man. That's, that's as easy as it needs to be.
and then we'll go in and do a similar thing on the black one and for that I'm going to use Ultham Grey Citadel colour name so uh, not the easiest to pronounce I don't think <laughs> but this is quite a light grey I think the other one that's pretty light is Celestra Grey Celestra Grey but again, uh, same kind of deal with this, so just drop it around those areas that we applied the Rhinox hide to, which probably didn't stick out massively to start with, but with this on there, it does kind of bring it out a lot more. Scraps, scrape, scratches in there. Uh, see, that's all I do to highlight the black. Um, is those colours? So my, my edge highlight is literally two colours on the black. It's just an edge highlight of the fang and the ultimate grey, and that's what I'll do on my on my marines. My tactical marines and everything uh, tanks I always put this little spray in of the Nagaraf Knight a bad and black and white mix um, and that's those done uh, you can now apply a wash uh, to pick out some of the details so I'm going to use some some black ink to shade those recesses Um, I don't know whether that just caught it up but basically what I've done is I've just used some uh, Vallejo model air and I've added some metallic chips to um, the most worn areas uh, just pretty much applied in the same way that you would with the highlights um, so now I'm going to put some matte varnish on these I'm going to try some more interesting techniques okay just real quick I've got these um, Life colour liquid pigments, and I think they're great. Uh, you can dab it on, like so, random places. Um, let it dry in. I'll just quickly use the hair dryer to dry it on. And then with an old brush. Of these uh, you got some like pigment remover uh, like a clear liquid and you can just literally drag that down It creates little rain marks, um, and if you do enough of them, you can get quite a nice effect on them. So, uh, see if I can get that in there a bit better. So you get like a streaky mess on there, basically. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's how I, that's how I weather 
whether reds and blacks um, like I say if you've got any questions or anything you want me to do a video on uh, just put it in the comments and uh, I'll try and get around to doing it um, thanks for watching uh, please give, back, give us some feedback um, let me know what I can do and uh, I'll try and stop um, thank you, cheers